हेलो एंड वेलकम टू फ्लटर एंड्रॉयड एंड आई ओ एस फूड ऑर्डरिंग एंड फूड डिलीवरी एप विद एडमिन वेब पोर्टल एंड विद ऑनलाइन पेमेंट सिस्टम विद एपल पे एंड गूगल पे in this course we will develop three kind of applications the first one is for the users then the second application we will develop for the sellers as it will have multi sellers feature that is any person can become a seller and start selling their own products then another application the riders app where any person can become a rider that is they can register their self and they can uh, make deliveries if a user is a new user then he he or she can register here on the registration page otherwise if you have already an account then you can simply log in when the user successfully logged in into the app then on the main page you can see banners and these banners are uploadable by the admin if the admin want the admin can upload new banners for example from here upload banner you click on upload image say this one ice cream okay so click okay you can see and then click on save just like you see let's upload another one also and as an admin you can upload as many banners as you want now you can see this new banner the admin uploaded which appears now in the users app and this new banner uploaded by the admin so as i told you you can upload as many banners as you want as an admin as an owner of this app after it comes the categories let's say you are a user and you want to search for chicken items so i will click on chicken as a user and you can see it will display all the chicken items as you can see okay similarly let's say you want to search for mandi or any category let's say you are searching for ice cream you will click on that and it will show you all the ice creams and these items were are from different sellers let's say you want to search anything mandi then it will show you like this and as i told you these categories are also manageable by the owners or you can simply say the admin so from here if the admin decide to add new categories for different sellers then the admin can add new category from here for example currently we have these categories as you can see soft drink ice cream biryani chicken mandi all these okay let's say the admin wants to upload a new category which is let's say indian deserts so here you will simply write the name for it let's say deserts and then click on save as you can see and now it will start appearing inside the users app you can see it is uploaded now and now if we come back here to the users app then you will see that new category is added which is deserts so if we click on deserts it is empty because no sellers has yet uploaded any item related to this category because this is a new category then after it comes the recommended items to a user for example the current online user is alexa smith okay so she has these recommended items you can scroll left or you can scroll right like this as you can see so from the recommended items if she wants she can order directly any item for example let's say she decides to order chicken roast with spices so she will click on it and it will show the complete details okay that is 15 euro for the whole chicken you can see and then you can increase how much you want then after it comes the popular items for alexa smith okay so the popular items as i told you you can scroll like that left and right okay which item you like as a user you will just click on that and you can place order that is add to cart first and then place order of course there is something which we will do step by step first of all let's explore the home page features and then after it if you want to order from specific cafes or from specific restaurant then here at the bottom you will see all the cafe and restaurants registered with this with your company we will develop multi sellers multi sellers and 
multi rider food delivery persons app okay so any any person can become a seller by registering and they can start selling their items of course it will be managed by the admin as a new seller the admin must approve your account for example if any person become a seller and they start selling their item first their account will be in the block list that is the admin must approve their account that is activate the account so if i click on activate this account yes then it will be activated activated successfully now if you click on all verified sellers account then you will find out that paul bakery is now inside the verified list that is their seller account is approved which means that now users can order items from this restaurant paul bakery and restaurant okay from them the users can order items and then other than this you can see each seller uh, name each seller email total earnings and if the admin decide to block any restaurant or cafe then they can block from here okay let's say if they misuse or if their behavior with the customers are not good that is with the users are not good then the admin can simply block any restaurant the admin want so from here let's say specifically if you want to order from any cafe or restaurant then you have to just uh, click on them for example let's say i want to order from zamzam mandi restaurant so i will click on that and it will open me the menu the menu of zamzam mandi restaurant you can see here at the app bar zamzam mandi restaurant menu they have ice cream menu chicken menu and mandi menu so let's say if you want to explore anyone let's say i want to order chicken so i will click on chicken and it will show me the items which they are selling inside the chicken menu so inside their chicken menu there is chicken bbq chicken kadai and chicken roast with spices similarly you can check any other uh, menu from zamzam mandi the restaurant like ice cream and the ice cream they are selling ice cream milk flavor and ice cream mango flavor ice cream strawberry flavor so anyone you wants to order you can just click on that let's order ice cream milk flavor i will click on that i want to order two uh, ice cream milk flavor okay so i will click on add to cart so you can see item added to the cart you can see one badge on the cart if you click on the cart you will see that Seven multiplied two. That is, I ordered two ice cream, and per item price is seven. So seven multiplied two, total price is fourteen. But if I want to clear the cart, then I will simply click on clear cart, and it will delete the item. For example, I, you see, cart has been cleared, so it will clear your cart. Let's say, if you want to order specifically from a specific restaurant, let's say some some Mandi, click on that, and let's order uh, Mandi from them. So I will click on Mandi menu, and these are the item inside the Mandi menu. So which one you want to order? Let's order Mandi lamp, and let's order two. So add to cart. You can see that twenty-eight two fifty-six. Okay, then let's check out. Now here it will show you your already saved addresses. Otherwise, if you want to add new address, then you can simply click on this Add New Address button. and from here you can either manually put your uh, details or you can click on this get my location and it will automatically fill out the form that is it will get your current location and it will fill out the form just you have to type your uh, name and your phone number for example like this okay and once you type that as you want you can edit this okay this form is still editable that is if you want to change some information in it or anything else you can do it from here and once you uh, fill out this then click on save so it will save your new address if you go back you will find out that okay this is the new address so now among these multiple addresses you can choose any one address with which you want to proceed so for example also you can confirm it from google map when you click on this check on maps button if you click on that it will show you the exact location on google map your exact location on google map so now let's go back and now let's click on proceed here it is as i told you we will have online payment system google pay and apple pay 
if you are using android phone then it will automatically display you the online payment system which is google pay and if you are using iphone then it will show you automatically the apple pay option instead of this you will see the apple pay option so now let's click on pay with gpay which is google pay and you can see it here it will verify your information so i have already provided my details if you want to add your another credit card or debit card or mastercard details then you have to simply you have to simply click here on this payment method arrow button and it will show you the complete form where you can provide give your uh, details for the security reasons i'm not going to click on it because it will reveal my card information okay so i will just click on continue and order place successfully as you can see the button is changed automatically to green and it says order place successfully so i will simply click on ok congratulations order has been placed successfully so now if i go to my orders and inside my orders i will see my the lamp two items i order the special wedge pullout this is my previous old order which i place even if i click on that you will see the date and time as you can see on 20th december i ordered that and my new one is the mandi which i order specifically from the uh, zamzam restaurant so if i click on mandi lamp which is my new order which is placed successfully for which i pay online using my google pay account with my visa debit card as you can see at january 3 at pm this order uh, this order was placed and it contains my shipping details also and the total price and the order id so now uh, as we order as alexa smith order from zamzam restaurant so let's say if if zamzam log in to their account then you can see zamzam mandi restaurant they are logged in as a seller okay this is their seller account you can see this is how the seller account looks which we will explore now first of all let's check out the new orders if you click on new orders that is if the seller click on the new orders then zamzam mandi received their order new order which is mandi lamp two items and if you click on that it will show you as you can see shipping details is this one name alexa smith phone number this so if you have let's say as a seller as a seller man the restaurant some some man the restaurant let's say they pack their order okay and then they have to click on order packing done so when they click on that then the next thing comes for the uh, rider so let's say rider peter which is a registered rider okay this is the uh, rider dashboard the rider can see the new available orders any rider okay any rider who will be online now as you can see it is multi it is multiple uh, rider okay system that is for example if i show you all verified riders then you can see that we have a lot of riders okay so currently the rider peter is online that is he is using his phone if any other rider is available then they can take the order okay peter robinson is basically the current online rider so if any rider on their dashboard if they click on new available orders then they will see currently only one order is available which they can accept when peter peter accept this specific uh, uh, order then other riders will not have access to it because it is already ex uh, accepted by peter okay so let's say if peter want to accept then you can see to peter will show you this information so let's say peter want to accept then peter will click on confirm to deliver this parcel so this will be added to peter uh, peter profile so peter has to deliver this if peter confirm to deliver this parcel so let's confirm so as peter confirm that already next thing is peter has to go to the cafe or restaurant and pick that order from there so peter can see the location if peter click on this show cafe restaurant location so it will show the cafe location to peter as you can see this is peter current location you can see that okay and this is the cafe location 
so as you can see the rider is now moving towards the restaurant so the rider reach to the restaurant now the rider will pick the parcel from the restaurant then after picking the parcel the rider has to click order has been picked confirmed and then now is the time that the rider will deliver it to the user door step that is for the user the rider has to deliver this so show delivery drop off location when the rider click on it then it will show the rider the user location so you can see this is the rider location and this is the user location where the rider has to deliver so now the rider start move start movement and now the rider has to deliver it at the user location so now as you can see the rider reached and now after delivering the order to the user now is the time the rider will click order has been delivered confirm so now if the rider go to the history then that one will be inside the history of the rider on the lamp 228 okay here you can see delivered and similarly if the rider click on total earnings then it will show to the rider the total earnings and then also in the seller app if the seller go to the new orders then you see that that order has been delivered it will be now inside the history of orders as you can see which is delivered already by the rider and if this seller go to his earning then my earnings you can see this is the earning of the seller whose name is Zamzam Mandi restaurant. Zamzam Mandi restaurant menus these are add new then they can add from here add menu okay that is for example any new menu they can add from here like that okay and then also as I told you the seller can delete let's say if the seller wants to delete uh, this chicken whole menu then they can the seller can delete by clicking on this delete button and similarly to add new item let's say the uh, seller wants to add new ice cream item so the seller will go inside the ice cream menu here are the previous uh, items for the ice cream menu and let's say the seller wants to add new item so it will click the seller will click on the add button and from here the seller will add the new ice cream and fill out the form and click on add which will upload a new item to the ice cream menu and also if the user go to the history then you can see this mandi lamp which now becomes a history which is delivered already now in the rider app you see these two parcel in progress not yet delivered what are these features for example if a user place new order okay then you can see that the rider can confirm it from here okay let's say if this rider wants to deliver it confirm it okay so let's say somehow the app close or let's say any incident happens to the rider so then when the rider let's say after some time opens the app that specific order will not be inside the new orders because it is already confirmed by Peter Robinson rider so it will be inside the parcel in progress parcel in progress area because it is already picked by the rider now let's say the rider pick this from the restaurant okay so rider will click on this order has been picked confirmed and let's say again the rider app closes or let's say any incident occur any accident occur or anything then as the rider already confirmed that the item is picked from the restaurant so it will be inside the not yet delivered now as you can see so everything is managed similarly if any rider misuse the app then the admin can block that specific rider as you can see the admin block this emily white rider okay and if any seller misuse the app then the admin can block them as well and if any user misuse the app then the admin can block any user if the admin wants so i hope you will love this course and yeah see you guys in the course bye for now